Hey guys, welcome back. So, I don't know what we're thinking. It's snowing. Again. Well, I'm in China now. I'm at the Great Wall of China. And you can sort of see a bit of it over there. Just rocked up here, but yeah, it's snowing. So, we'll um, see how we go, see if we can get some good shots. It's pretty amazing. My goal today is to climb to the top of that mountain there. See it there. But yeah, you can sort of see it's all um, pretty low visibility. But yeah, I'm gonna walk around so you can see. It's bloody big drop offs here too, don't want to be falling down there. So yeah, let's cruise around and have a bit of a look. Wow, the bloody thing's steep. Yeah, um, I said to bring some good walking shoes out, so I bought me good hiking boots out. But um, yeah, let's see how we go. The snow's softened a bit. Thankfully, hopefully it clears up in the next hour or so. Get some good pictures and footage of, of the landscape around here. Should be pretty amazing. Yeah, let's just keep walking and see what else we can see. Alright, so it stopped snowing finally. <sighs> but oh, I'm knackered. Fucking going up pretty high here. But yeah, you can sort of see now over the ridge. Really crazy. I mean, nearly impossible place for him to raid. Just a big drop off. Yeah, it's incredible. So I'm near to the top anyway. That's where I'm going, that's the finish point of this part of the wall, so. All right, so the snow's completely stopped now and you can um, see how the range a bit more. Pretty amazing. This keeps going and going and going. But um, that'll do for the Great Wall for now. Um, took about an hour or so to walk up top here. Wasn't too hard, I was a bit, bit buggered though by the end of it. Had to sit down for 10 minutes and have a little break. But um, yeah, stay tuned because we're going to Terracotta Army tomorrow and um, we'll show that now. Hey guys, I'm uh, here at the Terracotta Army. It's bloody amazing, there's um, 170,000 of them. Uh, this is only one of the rooms. Uh, there's about 6,000 in this room. There's more to go, but look how big this shed is. Amazing. So they were, um, they were all crafted by a single person, so they're all completely different um, to each other. Um, 2,000 years ago they were buried here. Yeah, let's keep moving and find some more. And so these ones are restoring and they take six months to a year to um, fully restore back to their place. So this room here is one of the officer rooms and they've actually um, kept one side restored. You can sort of see over there. And this side here is what it was like when they found it. They've left it damaged just to show the difference. So that's what that side looked like before, but they've completely restored it. Pretty cool. So what we've got here is a, um, an original archer that has not been restored at all. It was one of the only few that survived the test of time. So it's, um, yeah, pretty immaculate really. So no restoration, this one at all. So even the back of it is still got the original colour. You can see the red and the, um, the yellow on it as well. And then even like the hair on it. And what we've got here is a, and what we've got here is a um, general, completely unreserved. Detail is crazy. On the back of it. It's all the patterns and everything. So this one's an officer. You can see that he wants to hold a sword in his hand. Let's say his hands grasp. Uh, after... Alright guys, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. Um, hope you, you learned something. But um, yeah, out of China now and um, yeah, off to Hong Kong tonight. So that should be interesting. And, uh, catch the next one. That's it.